Yo, it's Mardu VR, and today we gotta talk about the PSVR 2, guys. I'm not gonna lie, I have to make a confession. The PSVR 2 might actually be my favorite PC VR headset I've used so far. No. No. Now, I know that's like crazy for some of my long time people who've been here, who've seen the big screen VR review, who've seen the Quest 3 review. I know it sounds crazy, but honestly, this headset has a lot of promise on PC and I find myself using it more often than not for my PC VR. And as of today, it's been two whole months since the PSVR 2 hit PC. The official release for the PSVR 2 PC adapter was exactly two months ago on August 7th. And I just gotta say, I've really been enjoying my time with this headset on PC. And recently, the number of people who are using their PSVR 2s on PC for a Steam has just come out and it's about 50,000 people. That's a crazy amount of people using this headset on PC for VR. And honestly, as a guy who owns a lot of VR headsets from the big screen beyond, the Valve Index, all the Quest line of headsets from the One Pro 3, 2, all of them, I, this one is just undefeated for me. Now, one of my main issues at first with the PSVR 2 on PC was the PS app. The PS app was terrible. The amount of stuff we had to do to get it working, some people had to turn off monitors to get it to work. And honestly, it felt like PlayStation released a beta instead of actual software. But we're getting to the point now where it's a little bit more stable, it's cool to use, and they put out some updates for it. Now, I know a lot of you guys remember me recommending this headset was for its, you know, sale price being 350. Nowadays, I would kind of recommend it for that max price of 549 for this headset for PC. A lot of you guys do know that Windows Mixed Reality just died on PC. So that means a lot of those headsets will not work anymore after this current, uh, you know, Windows update. So that means a lot of competitions got wiped off the board. And the only headset I can think of actively right now that you can plug into your PC that's not wireless streaming is the Pimax Crystal Light. So not much competition around the same price on PC anymore. The Valve Index is still $1,000. Okay, quick aside, why is the Index still $1,000? It's like five years old and the tech has aged substantially by now. Now, obviously you have the Quest 3, but I still feel like these two headsets are totally different use cases for two totally different types of crowds. So as of right now, but this past month, I can say the PSVR 2 has been running PC VR for me. And I think what makes it so good as a PC VR headset, you know, the OLED really looks great on PC without a persistence and stuff like that. The colors look really great. And then when you get to those dark areas in certain games, it just really, it really elevates on the PSVR 2 because of that OLED outside of like headsets like the Quest where you got the LCD. And it's like dark areas don't look as good. And I play a lot of dark games apparently. Another thing that makes the headset so good on PC is honestly the FOV. The FOV is really good for PC VR because I mean, the more you see, the more you can enjoy. I think I really realized this when I was playing Cyberpunk in VR. And man, like the amount of stuff I could see on screen at one time was just amazing compared to a headset like the Big Screen Beyond with it being so small and compact that the FOV is very limited. Like I couldn't even see parts of the HUD. With the PSVR 2, I feel like I could really enjoy Night City with like its different colors and vibrancy and then like the darker areas being really exaggerated with the PSVR 2. I would honestly say two months later, I'm really enjoying my experience. And I feel like a lot of people are kind of missing out. Another thing that people severely underestimate the PSVR 2 for on PC is this plug and play aspect. A lot of that plug and play aspect is really retained from the PS5 using that PS app. And it really does feel like you plug your headset in, touch the bottom of it, boot your controllers up, if you, especially if you already have the Bluetooth stuff enabled. And then you're good. The only problem I might have with the PSVR 2 on PC is the resolution at times. I do wish the resolution was a little bit higher on this headset. But sadly, I mean, Sony did cut corners on resolution, but I do feel like they upgraded the headset in a lot of other different ways that is cool with me. Another thing I did notice that on certain games, the PSVR 2 does take a lot more GPU power and just general like processing power to render that wide FOV. But even like on games like Cyberpunk, I feel like my PC is working less hard using the big screen beyond versus the PSVR 2, because honestly, I'm seeing more in the PSVR 2. So I feel like there was a lot less being rendered. Now, and I think that changes from a headset to headset. I do want somebody to confirm that, you know, in my PC VR guys. But honestly, it makes sense because I mean, if I'm seeing more FOV wise, 
and the lenses are wider, it makes sense to have to, you know, render more. But overall, if you don't have any technical issues, like issues with the PS app, issues with Bluetooth, then the PSVR 2 is a great PC headset. I don't feel any latency when I use it, because at first I was worried that the PSVR 2 PC adapter was gonna have latency, but it's like none. And honestly, and, and honestly, as like a long time PC VR guy, I do like not having to mess around with base station sometimes. It, it's, it's very nice not having the, oh, my base station is working. Oh, it's not connecting, you know. It's nice to get away from that sometimes. But overall, guys, we feel like two months later, the PSVR 2 is a really worthy contender for being one of the best PC VR headsets out right now. Even without the HDR eye tracking and some of the other PS5 centric features, it's a great headset. I think people really are missing out because they're so focused on the eye tracking, they're so focused on um, the face tracking and all these other features of HDR. But realistically, in that PSVR 2 comparison we did to other PC VR headsets, there's not many headsets around this price range that have eye tracking, that have face tracking, that have HDR, rumble, and stuff like that. So, I mean, it is what it is. But that's pretty much it for my update video on the PSVR 2 on PC. I kind of wanted to yap about it a little bit, kind of give my general thoughts. I, I generally feel like it's an amazing headset, even with the PS5 or without. It's just, it's just really good. <laughs> and let me know if you're still using your PSVR 2 on PC or you're not. Give me a reason. Let me know. Talk to me. And make sure you go to VRRock.com. Get some prescription lenses for your PSVR 2 because if you're blind like me, you're going to need them. Use code MARDUVR for 10% off. Help me help you save some money. And guys, I got a lot more content coming. I just put out a VR horror video. Make sure you check that out. Make sure you check out the upcoming games for October. And if you're interested in buying a Quest for Yes for any reason whatsoever, I put out some content for that too. If you guys want to see more PSVR 2 content from me, let me know what you want to see in the comments below. But as we do VR, and remember, I'm just a dude with a VR headset. Peace.